Welcome, 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 everyone. How is everyone doing? I see the chat is alive and well. Let me know. Let me know where you're calling in from. Let me know what the weather's like. And also, I want to find out, folks, what kind of business you have. What kind of business do you own? Do you own real estate? Are you in the real estate business? Uh, but do you own other businesses as well? Uh, so let us know. Put it in the chat. Let's get some of the, uh, the conversation going. And I uh, want to welcome you officially to this Marketing Masterclass. I'm solo today. It's kind of weird. Usually I always got a speaking partner of some type, but tonight I'm solo. I should say today I'm solo. Uh, so it's going to be fun. We're going to dive deep into all things marketing. We're going to, we're going to do some, we're, you guys are going to get an incredible, incredible demo of what marketing magic looks like when it's done right. My name is JG. For those who I, I haven't met, I am the co-founder of Remy360. Uh, I wrote an international best-selling book called Messy Manager, a small business guide to double your sales and triple your profits. And there's a, you can get a free copy there. David Maxwell, my co-pilot here, has uh, put in the link so you can uh, grab yourself a free copy of that book. And I'm also the chief grow, growth officer of Rain, the real estate investment network here in Canada. And uh, yeah, I'm pumped. Uh, marketing, as I mentioned uh, to some of you before, marketing is like my first love. Real estate is my second love. Now I'm in love with real estate. You guys know that. But marketing was my first love. Marketing is like my skill. Marketing is like my trade. Um, you know, some people do real estate. And, and, uh, but they're a carpenter or they do real estate, but they're a plumber or they do real estate and they're an electrician or they do real estate and they have, they have another skill. Marketing is my skill. That's what I honed my skills in when I went to, uh, I went to college and university, uh, a, business, a bachelor of commerce, uh, as well as a, um, a business degree in entrepreneurship, but marketing was my passion. Marketing is my skill. So I put my 10,000 hours of practice into marketing. That's why I'm so passionate about it. So thanks so much for coming here, folks. I really appreciate uh, you guys spending your day with me and spending your time with me. Remy360 is on a mission, quite frankly, to stop business owners from wasting valuable time and money. Uh, there's so many businesses that, that go out of businesses every single year. And given all things COVID-19, quite frankly, it's only going to get worse. Marketing is like that secret weapon. Marketing is like that thing that if you can take control of your marketing, you can really empower your business. You can catapult it to the next level. And marketing for me is, uh, is an incredible leverage tool. Cody asked a great question. How long is this webinar? Cody, hopefully I'm not boring you already. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we're probably going to be at this, Cody, till for about an hour, roughly. So we're going to go till the top of the hour, roughly. Um, if there's any other questions before we get started? Yeah, no, no, for sure. One hour. This, this won't be a two, three hour thing. Uh, one hour. So, and I love all the feedback we're getting in. Keep it up. That's great. I love it because I can see it as I'm speaking. I can see the, the comments coming in and I can address them uh, in real time. So that's great. Thank you. My job is to show you how to predictably grow your business without growing your payroll. Now that is whether you're a real estate investor, and I'm going to talk a lot about real estate today. And you guys know that typically when I talk marketing, I talk all business. Real estate is one of those businesses. Rental business is one of those businesses. But today I'm going to give you, and you guys are going to be so thrilled. I hope you're going to be thrilled you came because we are actually going to be talking about specifically leasing, specifically renting and we are going to talk, you're, you, no one's ever seen this. Rain members have not seen this. By the way, who's a Rain member here? If you're a Rain member, put it in the chat. If you're not a Rain member, put it in the chat just so I can get an idea. Put Rain member or non-Rain member. Thank you. Awesome, yep. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. So today, folks, you're gonna get a sneak peek into something no one else has seen. You're going to see what marketing automation in practice looks like in your business. Okay. It's going to be really, really cool. I think you're going to be blown away by this and you're going to see how we can achieve my goal. My goal is for you to stop the grind and regain more time. That is my goal. I'm going to be giving you an example specifically about real estate today. And specifically, we're going to talk about the sales leasing process. Morning, John. Good morning, everyone else as well. I love all the, uh, the chats. Thank you. We're going to talk about leasing. When I talk about leasing, I'm talking about renting, the process of renting an apartment. Now, whether it's a commercial 
commercial apartment, a commercial lo a locker, office space, a single family, an apartment, a condo, none of that doesn't matter. The, the process is called sales leasing. And, uh, and that's the example I'm going to give you through today. And I'm going to show you how in real time, quite literally, I'm going to show it to you in real time, how you can use the power of marketing automation. Now, folks, I've invested well over $5 million of my own money into these marketing systems and these marketing processes. It's done me well, Jim. My business have generated well over $75 million of, of revenue growth. And uh, I've, you know, own and manage over $10 million of real estate. So this is, comes from in the trenches experience. This isn't, this isn't theory. I'm giving you um, real life lessons here and real life examples. I've done a lot of things wrong, a lot of things wrong, because that's how you learn. I've invested well over 10,000 plus hours into this and I discovered the hard way. The good news is you get a shortcut. So I'm going to spend the first sort of 10, 15 minutes talking maybe about maybe 10, 15 minutes. We'll see how deep I get into it. I'm going to talk about the, the um, what's the word, the philosophy that I want you to adopt. Then we're going to go, so that's like, you know, really, is that right brain or left brain? Let's say that's right brain. I think that's right brain. And we're going to talk philosophical stuff. We're going to do real right brain stuff. Then we're going to dive deep into a system and I'm going to show you a system. And some of you are already Remy Online clients. You're going to absolutely love this because this is powered by Remy Online. So you're going to be blown away with it. Here's the philosophy. Most business owners, they're wasting precious time. See, if you think about it, and, and most of you know what I'm talking about here, is most business owners spend all their time, effort, energy, and money, and they, they go out there, they're trying to get new leads, they're trying to get new business, they're, try, they're spending all this money and resources trying to fill their bucket called lead generation, because their bucket has holes in it. And when you have a leaky bucket, then as you put water in, water just flows out. So it's kind of like you're bailing the boat and it's coming in just as fast as you're bailing it out. It's the opposite in this case. You're filling the bucket and it's going out just as fast as you're putting it in. So the first philosophical thing you really got to get to is how do I plug those holes, right? Now, holes exist in a couple different forms when it comes to marketing. The first one, is what we call multiple system chaos, okay? So the first, the first, what that means is if you have like a system for CRM, a system for emails, a system for contact management, a system for calendaring, a system for email, a system for text message, you could quite literally, and if you thought hard about this, and if you look at your business, whether it's real estate or something else, you are probably using somewhere between three and 10 systems to manage that business. Okay. That there, that's called multiple system chaos. Every time you got to go from system to system, every time the contact got to pass through that, it's a hole in your bucket. It's an energy leak. It's a marketing leak. Your first job as a business owner is to plug those leaks. The reason, and this is one of the core principles of my book, Messy Manager. I talk about doubling your sales and tripling your profits. One of the ways to do that, one of the key principles is to make sure that you plug that hole. And the reason you plug all those holes, and I'll show you today, you'll get an idea of how to do that, by the way. As you plug those holes, then when you put a cup of water in the top, it actually stays in the bucket. Well, that makes your, your money, that makes your spend, that makes your marketing investments, that makes your sales investments much, much more effective, much, much more efficient because it's not just leaking out all the time. So yeah, yeah, Deanna, I know, I know, right? A lot of people want their, their own little JG. And actually, it's kind of funny you mentioned that, Deanna, because you're actually going to see, that's actually what's on the table here today. I'm so, that's so, it's amazing that you actually said that, Deanna, because that's actually what we're talking about today is how do you, you know, if, how do you get these systems working for you? And I'm going to show you today how to build it. I'm going to show you what we've done and then you'll see how you can do it too, okay? So the first philosophy is to plug your marketing leaks. One of the ways you do that is by eliminating multiple system chaos as much as possible. I have never been involved in a business, I've never owned a business, or I've never consulted to a business that one system did it all. It's very difficult. Now you can reduce, if you have 10, you gotta find a way to reduce it to four, three. If you have 
If you have five, you've got to find a way to reduce it to two or three. You just cannot have that many systems because every time you bounce from system to system, it's a marketing leap. That's one of the more, most core principles. If you can really wrap your mind around that, that'll be very, 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 very powerful for you. Second, the second philosophy that I want to introduce you to is what we call let system deal with suspects and let people deal with prospects. What? Yeah, that's right. And, and Ken, great point, right? If you're just getting started, if you're just, especially in real estate, you know, one of the beauties about real estate is you don't, unlike a, a traditional business, if you owned a retail business right away from day one, you would need a POS, you would need a marketing system. You'd need, you'd need like all these different systems in order to make your retail business work. The cool thing is about real estate is you don't, you don't, at the beginning, you don't need a lot of this stuff. The problem is as we continue to grow our real estate businesses, we don't put these, these systems in place and then we outgrow our own business. That's a, if you've ever noticed, and I, and I want you, and some of you are actually in this position because I know, I know some of you and I know the size of portfolios you have, but this is actually something that happens quite a lot. You grow your business, you grow your portfolio, you grow your portfolio, you wake up one day and you think, wow, I have $4 million of business, $4 million of real estate or $5 million of real estate, which is a lot of real estate, by the way, and you're, but you don't have the proper infrastructure. So, and if you've noticed it before, and you may notice it of yourself, or if you, you may have seen this in someone else, and you're trying to go to the next level, you're trying to get acquired, you're trying to build, you're trying to go to the next level of your real estate business, and you can't. You're constantly feel like you're running up against the wall all the time. And, you, and I know, and I know the frustration, you, could, you might feel like, man, every time I try, I fail. Every time I try to do the, go to the next level, I'm just not succeeding. How come? I want you to, if that's happening to you, then I want you to consider that it may be an infrastructure challenge. You may not have the infrastructure and these systems are at this, of this infrastructure. So you need to look at your infrastructure and say, what do I need to invest in the infrastructure, the foundation in order to continue to build and scale my business? This is a philosophy that can help you do that. Let systems deal with suspects and people deal with prospects. That means that you do not, thank you, uh, France, uh, that means that you should not, as a business owner, as a salesperson, as a, as a marketer, as a, the CEO of your real estate company, you should not be dealing with suspects. And the difference, what is the difference between a suspect and a prospect? Great question. I'll ask you, what do you think is the difference between a suspect and a prospect in the sense I'm talking about it now in this marketing masterclass? Put it in the chat. Let me know. What is the difference between, okay, so Sally says qualified, very good. What is the difference between a suspect and a prospect? You're, you're on the right track, Sally. It is a question of qualification. My question for you is how do you know? How do you know they're qualified? A prospect's a potential, let me just read some of these to you guys. A, pro, a prospect is a potential client, a suspect, you weed them out. That's correct, Julia says a suspect and guys you should put in the chat to to put your chats to all panelists and attendees that way everyone can see your chats uh suspects are tire kickers prospects are committed and want in very very good absolutely 100 percent. a suspect someone's not qualified yes so you guys are getting it that a suspect is someone who's not qualified and by the way there's nothing wrong with that it just means they're not ready right now one of the core philosophies and i don't have a slide for this so please write it down is you want to be ready to sell when they are ready to buy. You want to be ready to sell when they are ready to buy. See, most business owners, and including real estate, by the way, because that's what you all are. You're all business owners. You just own real estate. That's your business is, is, a, is real estate, but it's still a business, as we've said many times at Rain. Most business owners... Because they're ready to sell, they think everybody should be ready to buy. Like, I'm here. I'm ready to sell you some shit. Why don't, you know, how come you're not ready to buy? But it's not like that. You have to be ready to sell when they're ready to buy. Okay. And, and they're not always necessarily ready to buy. And you need in your marketing, folks, you need a combination of suspects and prospects. And I got to, I can't stress this enough that a lot of people make the mistake of only wanting prospects. Like, like I only want it. I only want prospects in my marketing. I only want to get prospects. That's it. I don't want suspects. I don't want the tire kickers. 
Okay, that is not necessarily true, by the way. I want you to work that out of your vocabulary. You, you want to uh, operate based on this saying, which is you want to let the system deal with suspects, but you want people to deal with prospects. Because I'll tell you what, guys, suspects always become prospects. Suspects always become prospects. The problem is if you as a person is trying to make a suspect a prospect, through your own will, through your own effort without systems, then what happens is it's very difficult. So you end up burning out, okay? So you let systems deal with suspects and you let people deal with prospects. The way to do that is what we call behavior-based systems, okay? And what a behavior-based system is, is a behavior-based system is, is something that allows you to recognize uh, the qualification process. And I'll show you, you'll see it in the system I'm about to show you in about two, two minutes, that uh, you want people to qualify themselves. See, it's not up to you to qualify people. It's up to them to, they qualify themselves. You don't qualify them, they qualify themselves. And how do they do that is by taking various action. I'll give you an example. Let's just take a very um, cursory example. Let's just say I'm interested in a realtor. I want, I'm interested in hiring a realtor, right? And, and I, I, I Google online, you know, realtor Edmonton. And now I'm looking around, I'm searching. So I'm searching a little bit. Okay. So I have a certain amount of, I've taken a certain amount of behavior and, and let's just say me and my friend here, let's just say I have a friend beside me and my friend needs a realtor too, but he hasn't searched. He hasn't even searched online. So he hasn't even taken that behavior. He hasn't even taken that action. Well, he's Im immediately less qualified than I am because I'm actually moving. I'm actually taking some action. Then let's just say, that we both get involved with a realtor and we, and, but one person doesn't open the emails. The other one does open the emails. The one person opens the emails, clicks on the links, consumes the information, reads the blog posts, visits the website, looks at the videos, all of those little actions. These are behaviors. And every one of those behaviors demonstrates qualifications. See, that's what your system needs to do. Now, there's no universal rule, guys, okay? I'm teaching you a philosophy. I'm teaching you a concept that you can apply to everything. How do you have your system be a behavior-based system so you don't waste your time and money? And as I show you the next, uh, um, the next system here, you're gonna see exactly how to do that. You're gonna see how we've done it for leasing, but the process applies to any sales process. It doesn't matter if you're selling consulting, if you're selling realty services, if you're selling an apartment, if you're selling a property, none of it, that, that doesn't matter. The concept is what makes sense. So is this making sense so far, guys? Put it in the chat, let me know. Okay. Awesome. So now that we got the philosophy out of the way and you understand, and, and by the way, that philosophy guys, I've, I've, whether you recognize it or not, I've said it before. I will say it again. It is always the same philosophy. The action, the system you build is always based on the philosophy. Okay. So, and if you like these kinds of philosophies more and more, you want to get a copy of my book, messy manager. It's free by the way free book. I give it away to the world. It's sold in 14 countries, but I give it away to the world now. Now check this out. Here's what I want to show you. What I want to show you, and this is a concept of this behavior based system is, and I often talk about funnels. And when you hear this funnels, thank you, uh, Deanna. When you hear these funnels, the job of the behavior based system is to work people down the funnel. When someone enters a funnel, they're always a suspect. They decide when they become a prospect by taking behaviors, by taking actions, by moving forward. Okay. So when I refer to funnels, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about bringing people down the funnel. This is the most important part. And, and this is all system based behavior based. Now, let me, let me tell you the, the, here are the discoveries I've made of why people don't do this. Okay, I've been doing this now for 16 years and I've, I've, I've built and sold several, several companies. I've consulted in 78 different industries. And the one thing that I always see are these three things. Number one, people don't know where to start. Okay, which is why, and, and 
which is why I like to do these master classes. I want to show you how to do this. I want you to, cause it's such an empowering feeling guys, the feeling you're all real estate investors for the 99% of you, the feeling when you're a real estate investor, you are literally empowering yourself and your financial future. Right. And you, 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 you reclaim that power. If you do this kind of stuff in marketing, you will reclaim the power of your business. It's the same feeling, by the way, you get to the same place, but most people don't know where to start. Most people are overwhelmed by the multiple system chaos. It becomes too much. It's like that system does what, and this system does what, and all these various, that just creates some overwhelm. And the third thing is there's the technical ability that shuts people down, right? I'm not a tech guy by any stretch of the imagination, but I've learned a lot of tech stuff over the years because I had to, because I was forced to, because I really wanted to become an expert at this stuff. So I, and I'm not, I'm not a coder. I'm not a technical guy, but I understand some of it. And others, others of you, it's impossible for you to allocate that because you have other jobs, your consultants, your doctors, your dentists, you have other trades, you have other skills. But as Sally's saying is COVID showed a lot of people, they can be technical learners. And, and a lot of you before thought, I don't know about this Zoom thing. Now you love it. Everyone, uh, everyone universally at Rain is telling us how much better the content is on Zoom because I can interact with you as I'm speaking to you. We can answer questions live, right? And, and we didn't know any of that necessarily before and spe specifically the audience. And I'm talking about you guys. You didn't necessarily know that, but now COVID has given us the opportunity of doing that. So let's talk about the perfect leasing process. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna now I'm, I'm gonna switch gears. Okay, I'm out of the philosophy. I'm, I'm, I'm entering the world of real estate now. Okay. You're all real estate owners for the most part. And I want to talk to you about the perfect leasing process. I want to show you the perfect leasing process. I then want you to, I want to look at the problems with the perfect leasing process, the, the problems that occur, the, the problems that prevent you from, from applying the perfect leasing process. And then I want to show you how you can build a system to fix it. Okay. Number one, here's the perfect leasing process. First of all, you generate an inquiry. Someone says, I'm interested. I want to go look at that place. That's the first step to any leasing process is you need to generate that inquiry. Now, how you guys are doing that is typically, you know, you might be doing it on Facebook. You might be doing it on social media. You might be doing it on Zumper or Kijiji or back in the day you used to do newspaper ads, you know, the little columns. That's how you generate an, inqu an inquiry. Okay. That's the first step all the time. Rentboard.ca. Very, very good. And there's many, many others, other ways, but you have to generate an inquiry without that. Nothing starts after you generate an inquiry before you book a showing. And I've said this many, many times to you, you should have a phone conversation. That phone conversation is not to qualify the prospect. It is to position the property. Okay. So what I mean by that is you pick up the phone and you're not, you're not, you're not trying, you're trying to understand the client. You're trying to understand the tenant. You're trying to understand where they're coming from and what they're looking for and their situation and their job and their income. And you're trying to understand that, but you should not waste the opportunity of positioning the property. It sounds like this. Hey, Jim. You know, oh man, we just did a, a beautiful renovation on this. It's got fresh paint. You know, a lot of uh, uh, we've done over the years, we've, we've updated all the, the floors We've updated all the, the taps and the fixtures. You'll see it's a beautiful place, absolutely gorgeous place. We take immaculate care of this, of this place. The grounds are exceptional. You know, you got that beautiful backyard with the nice trees, whatever it is, right, to, in your particular case. But position the property at the same time as you qualify. Next is you want to have the tenant apply. Now, this, is, this, this part here is where, depending on your real estate market, some people don't want to have the tenant apply. Some of you, I'll show you, you, you flip it. You don't have them apply because you feel like that's going to, that's too much, um, too much qualification. That's not the right way to put it, but you feel like it's a roadblock. Okay. You feel like if you make them apply before you show it to them, you'd rather show it to them and have them apply. I don't, per I, I personally believe that the perfect leasing process, they apply first. And the reason for that is you don't end up wasting your time. How many times have you done a thousand showings, a hundred showings, 10 showings, and people cancel, people move, people don't show up there. It turns out they're not, they're not that interested. It turns out they're just kicking tires. You end up just wasting a whole lot of time. 
I fix that by having them apply first. I don't show it. I don't show my apartments to anyone unless they apply first. Then the fourth step is then I review their application. If I approve them at that point, I often unapprove people. I dis I say, no, I'm not going to show that you show you this place because you don't make enough money. I personally at Vistra property group, we are in the, we're not in the luxury rental market, but we're in the premium rental market, which means I'm always above market rent. Always, always, always. If a two bedroom apartment is going for 13 to 1500 bucks, I'm renting my two bedroom apartments for 16, 15, 16, 50, 17, 50, 1900, that kind of thing. So I'm always premium. We renovate to be premium. We attract a premium tenant. The point is, is that a lot of people can't afford our apartments sometimes. Sometimes they would love it. My gosh. I mean, they would love a beautiful place like that, but they just can't afford it. If, if their income is, is more, if their income cannot support the rent, which means if it's above 40 to 45% of their income, the household income, there's no, there's no even point in me showing it to them. They're going to want it. They're going to love it, but I'm not going to approve them. So I, I disapprove them right then and there. But those that do make it, those that I do approve, those that do make it through, I then do a showing at the, and I try to close the deal on the spot. And the reason, and when I say close the deal, I bring a lease, I get it ready, I get it ready, I show them the lease, I show them the place. And shortly thereafter, I do step number six, which is I get the lease signed and I get the deposit right away. Number five and number six typically happen within minutes to hours of each other. Very, very quick. I don't, it's like I do a showing and I close the deal next month. I, I do the showing and I'm closing the deal either on the spot or shortly thereafter, minutes to hours apart, okay? Uh, if they don't qualify, just let them know. I give them a call and let them know. I don't, I don't think your, your household income can support this. Or I ask some questions like, do you have other income? Is there something else that, because that, right now what I'm seeing, it doesn't look like it's gonna be a good fit. Now, keep in mind, I have, it's not like I only have one apartment. I often have a little bit more inventory because I'm always buying and selling and renovating and so on and so forth. So I might put them into another property that might be better suited for them. Okay. And if I do approve them, then I give them a call. I say, listen, let's book it. Let's book a showing. And I'll show you this process in a second. Okay. Now here's the trouble spots. Okay. The trouble spots is the first one is it's hours and hours and hours and hours of chasing people to book calls. If you do this perfect leasing process and it's called the perfect leasing process because it works really well to get great tenants and to get people into your apartments. That's why it's called the perfect leasing process, but it takes hours to do this stuff. It takes hours to be able to uh, coordinate all these phone calls. That's the first thing. That's, that's a trouble spot. Secondly, is if you do not properly position the property from the start, then your sales effectiveness goes down, okay? So where this comes into problem, and I know some of you are on this call, you have multifamily buildings. Some of you on this call have property managers that work for you. Uh, some of you on this call don't do the leasing yourself. It, you rely on someone else to do it. And that's great, by the way. That's awesome, so, as do I. But the problem you encounter when you rely on someone else is they may not do it your way. They may not do it the right way and they may not properly position the property from the start. That's a trouble spot. Next, it is more hours and hours and hours of chasing people to get their applications. Okay. So that's a trouble spot. The next one is it's hours and hours and hours of time for you to book showings. Okay. If you do it properly, you're going to, you're going to be, you know, you're going to have say uh, 50 people that are interested. And, and of the 50 people, you have to send 50 text messages. You have to say, hey, uh, you know, I, I'd like to, like to book a phone conversation. When can you talk? You go back and forth, back and forth. All this takes tons and tons of time. You finally talk to them on the phone. They say, yeah, you know, you figure, yeah, they're good. Let's, let's send them the application. Now it set, takes more time. You got to send them the application. Then you, they don't get you the application back. So you should follow up with them. So you text them, you email them, you call them. Did you get my application? Did you get the... the all this stuff takes so much time, guys. And if you have a significant portfolio and you don't even need a significant portfolio. I was talking to David Maxwell just before we started this. And he was talking about David's a, a real estate investor, been an investor for many, many, many years. But even, and he was uh, saying the experience, even someone who only has one apartment or two apartments, a duplex, for example, you know, a suited property, you can spend, when you're in the throes of renting, it's hours and Jerry's right. Sometimes they never show up. Okay. So this stuff becomes an issue and these are the trouble spots. Now I got a system that I'm going to show you that's going to, that, that I've built 
that, that I'm recommending you build so that you can eliminate all these trouble spots and follow the perfect leasing process. I'll show it to you. The fifth and final trouble spot is what I call the admin notices. So after you get a, a lease signed or you get deposits or whatnot, well, now you have to do administration. There's a lot of admin at that point in real estate, which is you got to do credit checks. You got to do social media checks. You got to follow the six step checking process. I've taught you before. You have to call references. There's all this stuff to do. And if you can automate some of that, it really, really saves time. Okay. So now what I'm going to introduce you to is, and by the way, is this like, is this making sense to you guys? Right. Is it, is this, are, are you on board with this? Are, are you experiencing some of these trouble spots too? Right. And, and you'd love to follow the perfect leasing process, but the trouble spots make it so difficult that you don't end up following the perfect leasing process. That's in fact, what happens to most real estate investors. They want to follow the perfect leasing process. They want to, but it's so damn difficult and it's so challenging that they end up aborting. They end up saying, forget it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to book an open house instead. I mean, I'd love to do it this way, but shit, it's just, it takes too much time. Well, not, not if you build the right process. So let me, let me show you, I'm going to introduce you to a, a system we've built called leasing bot or the leasing bot for short. Okay. No, David, not yet. So the, in the leasing bot, Okay. We have automated this stuff to follow the perfect leasing process. Let me show it to you. How am I doing on time? Yeah. So here we go. Um, the first thing that we do. Okay. At Vistra, and this is, this is a Vistra property group. This is, we use it at Vistra property group. This system was built by Remy. It's powered by Remy online. Some of you already have Remy online. Cause I've talked about it before. Very, very a little bit by the way, but uh, some of you have this, you can do this. And some of you might want to do this. I'll show you this in a second, but let, let's get through it. So when you generate an inquiry, okay. When you generate an inquiry, the first thing that we do is we put that inquiry into our system. And the way we do that is we send, we, we, we personally put it into this page. So my assistant, for example, so this Patrick, uh, uh, genius, let's call the, the guy's name, Patrick genius. Uh, it's like Patrick Francie, but Patrick genius. He's interested in one of our apartments. Okay. And, and so my assistant will say, Oh, great. Patrick genius. I, I will get you set up. We'll get you connected with our leasing coordinator. So my assistant takes Patrick genius's information goes to this web page and puts in first name, Patrick, last name, genius, phone number, da, 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 email, da, da, da. And then she selects which property is currently for lease and Patrick genius is interested in. What she makes that selection and this list of properties goes down, down, down. She makes a selection. She presses submit automatically generated by the system. Patrick genius gets this text message. Hi, Patrick genius. My name is Ryan and I'm the leasing coordinator at Bishop property management. We received your inquiry for, and it merges in the property address. I'd love to coordinate a viewing. When's a good time for me to call for a few minutes. Now here I, I did a test with Jennifer Hunt the other day. Here's, in a, a live shot of what happens behind the scenes when Jennifer gets this text. So the system, so just this itself guys will save you a ton of time. Okay. Just this will save you time because the system is sending these text messages out. Not you, you don't have to take your phone and, and enter. You don't have to copy and paste the message. And what's the person's phone number again. And all that stuff is done automatically generated by the system. Now, so that right away already, this is kind of cool, but I'm just getting started by the way, but this is already pretty cool. Now here's the first trouble spot. If, if this person doesn't reply to the text message and you guys know, you guys know how often you send a message and you don't get a response. And now you got to remember, did they respond? Did they not respond? Do I got to follow up? Do I not got to follow up? What's happening? This is constant. This is every day guys. I've been doing real estate for a long time. With this system, and this is the kind of thing you guys got to do with this system. If that person doesn't reply in 10 hours, they get an automatic reply, a uh, uh, message that is sent out all automatically that says, hi, Patrick, I haven't heard from you yet. We, we received your inquiry for insert. Okay. Uh, I'd love to coordinate a viewing. When's a good time for me to call for a few minutes. Okay. So automatically now check it out guys. It keeps texting every roughly 10 to 12 hours, which means twice a day automatically. Okay. So it does it one, two, three, four, five, six, and then 
after that, so six, six text messages over the course of three days, twice a day, sort of one in the morning, one in the evening, if you will. Okay. And if the person doesn't respond, it waits an extra 10 days just in case, because sometimes people are busy. People got lives, people got stuff going on. It, the system waits 10 days and then says, hi, Patrick, have you given up on finding a great home? Because that's a final attempt we're going to make at this point. Okay. So audit, just this in itself saves a ton of time, guys. Okay. Absolute ton of time because you don't have to go back and forth with it. I'll show you, I'll show you how we manage all this in a second. And one of the things that's super cool is if the person replies, let's say Patrick Genius replies, this stops automatically. The campaign stops. Okay. And what happens in that particular case is when the campaign stops, then they don't get that text message anymore. And automatically they then go from the campaign of sent text message over to the replied campaign so that you know who's replied and who hasn't replied. Okay. Pretty cool stuff. At that point, you then have that phone conversation with them. You're now at step two of the leasing process. Okay. Step two, because they've replied, they've coordinated a time and now, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Jerry, I'm just getting started. I'm just getting started. So, um, so now you give them a call. Okay. And you do your normal chit chat on the phone, whatever you're doing right now. Okay. So oh, I'll show you some other cool things in a second, but anyways, let me keep going. I just got a notice on my watch, which I'll actually, cause this system's working for me right now behind the scenes. So anyways, let, let me not get distracted. Let me keep going. You have this phone call with this person, right? So you call, you call Patrick genius. You say, Hey Patrick, tell me about yourself. Yeah. You know, how many, how many kids, uh, how many, how many adults, any pets, you know, blah, blah, blah. Where do you, all, all the various questions you ask, you position the property properly at this point. And then you decide Patrick genius is a good idea. You're going to send Patrick genius an email, uh, an application. What you do is you go in here. Okay. You take, I'm just going to take Tyler Brown as an example. You take the, the card Tyler Brown and you take it and you drag it into the next column called application sent and automatically, boop, automatically the system sends a text message and an email at the exact same time that says this hi again, a genius. As mentioned in our conversation, the first step for you is to complete an application. Here's the link and it puts in the link of the application. Once I receive your application, I'll schedule a viewing. We do schedule viewings based on when we receive the application. Please complete this ASAP or the apartment will be rented. We've been swamped with inquiries. Uh, I've also emailed you the application link if that's easier. Okay, so lots of stuff going on here, guys. First and foremost, and, and by the way, here's what it looks like live in the system. It looks like this. And there, there's, this is significant because if they don't reply to that and if they don't click on the application, if they don't do the work, if they don't show the behavior, I want them to show the system sends them a text message in 10 hours. Then it sends them a text message in 12 hours. Then it sends them another text message. And then it continues to do that for three days. Okay. So I've, I've condensed the timeline now to three days. And the reason, uh, yeah, so you're, well, Jerry, you're bringing up a great point. Let's talk about that in a second. But uh, what, uh, what do you do with sensitive info like sin? Well, in our applications, uh, Monica, we are, our systems are all able to accept sensitive information. It's a, it's a, it's all follows the privacy laws and we do accept that sense of information to do credit checks and you should have online applications. I've said this a thousand times at rain. If you don't have an online application, well, this system can do it for you, by the way, but if you don't, you'd really need one. So I'll get on that. Now, Jerry brings up, uh, sent me a message and he's absolutely right. Copywriting is the key. What does copywriting mean? Copywriting is a technical term in marketing for the text that you use, like the, 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 the words that are used within messages. Here's what's important now. It's at this very stage that when you have a property manager, when you have, like, let's say you have a multifamily building with, uh, call it uh, 30 apartments, 50 apartments. You might have an on-site manager that does your leasing, an on-site leasing coordinator. That person, I guarantee you, is not as good as you at selling. I guarantee you that person is not as passionate as you about the building. I guarantee it 100%, right? And it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. This system takes them out of the equation to a certain extent where the, the words that are being used, you've crafted them. Okay. Oh, and Deanna, you're absolutely right. You need an online application. You can't be emailing this stuff back and forth, right? Uh, you're probably violating some privacy laws. If you're emailing private data 
uh, back and forth, but it's also not secure. And it's also doesn't make, and it's also more complicated on administration. It's more difficult. You really, you really want to get it on an application. I've said this many, many times. So the system is doing this automatically. Okay. So as someone completes the application, their little card, like look at Andrew, for example, if Andrew clicked the link, completes the application, the little card moves from application spent boop, to application complete. Now at this point, a notification is sent out to the owner called me or the owner called you uh, to look at the application. Because at this point, you now need to make a decision. You got to make a, the first decision on whether or not you're even interested in showing this place. Okay. So you take a look at the application. Once you decide, you know what, the application is good. I kind of like it. I think Patrick Genius might be a good fit. You then drag the card from application complete to showing pending automatically. Boom. The system takes over. The system sends out a text message. Hey, okay, here's the next step, Patrick Genius. Click here and go schedule uh, a showing directly in my calendar. Oh, so right here, guys, this is cool. I'm going to show you a screenshot in a second, but I know some of you just got really excited because you thought, huh? AG, are you telling me that people can actually schedule their own showing so I don't have to like figure out all this stuff, you know, in my head between meetings all the time? Like they could just see my calendar, predetermined times that I've agreed to, and they could just schedule themselves? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Amazing. Very good, Monica. So, and again, this, again, back to the chasing element. If they don't do a scheduling, if they don't click and do a scheduling, they get an automatic text 10 hours later, then an automatic text 12 hours later, then, and then a final message goes out to the leasing coordinator to say, hey, they haven't booked a showing yet, call these people. Because at this point, back to the behavior, they are way down the behavior funnel at this point. They're way down the behavior track. They have showed you tons of behavior that they are a qualified prospect. So at this point, I'm getting my leasing coordinator involved saying, listen, you got to call this person ASAP to get them a showing because they may be a good tenant. They may be a, good, a really good client. I've approved them, okay? Now, Jerry, uh, Jerry asked a good question. And Jerry, you're a little ahead of others in terms of the, the offer to capture the email and the phone number. In this particular case, is the apartment. It's the apartment that's for rent. It's your beautifully staged pictures with your amazing description, all the things that we've taught you. That's the offer that gets them into this early on. Okay. Now let me, so let me go to the next one. So here's what it looks like. I was doing that test with Jennifer. So, okay, here's the next step. Jennifer click here and go schedule it uh, uh, showing directly in my calendar. And then she was, she clicks that, that the person and the Patrick genius or Jennifer in this example, and it takes them to a page that looks like this. Now this calendar folks, you set this up, you set up this calendar your way. Okay. And, and it's all controllable. So, so I know what, I know what's going through your mind right now, but JG, I have a job and JG, I'm busy and JG, I can't just be doing showings any time of the day. No, no, I understand. I understand. You can schedule you can say, listen, I only want to do showings on Saturdays between nine and 12, or I only want to do showings in the evenings between seven and eight every night or whatever, whatever criteria you have, it doesn't matter. The calendar can be customized to handle that criteria. But the beauty is you let people book themselves and that empowers them. The other thing it does is it takes all that administration out of it, it takes all that back and forth out of it. And then the, 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 uh, the appointments just show up automatically right in your calendar, just like this. Here's an example of it here. This is an actual screenshot of it. Now, uh, no, Monica, you do not use Calendly. This is built into the system. This is, what I'm, this is what I'm telling you. This is built into the Remy Online system. This whole thing is powered by Remy Online, one system. To do this kind of thing, you'd have to have Calendly and 17 other platforms. In this case, we're eliminating multiple systems chaos. One platform does all this. I'll share it with you in a second. Once you do the showing, so now, this is where I'm at. Okay. I'm now at the place where I'm doing the showing with Patrick genius. Patrick genius says, I want it. I'm interested. I'm in, I'm going to go, I'm going to send you the email money transfer. I'm going to go sign the lease right now. I, I'm in, I'm doing it. I then take the little card right from showing confirmed and I drag it over to wants the unit, but the deposit's not received yet. Once I get his deposit, I then slide it over to wants the unit and the deposits received. When I do that automatically, all the administrative notices are issued. All the administrative notices 
are, go out automatically. The emails go out automatically. The text messages go automatically. The notifications to the admin team for the checks, the credit checks, the social media checks, all the checks go out automatically. The notification to the owner to, to make the final approval goes out automatically. The notification to accounting that the deposit's on its way or the deposit's sitting in, the, in your email money transfer goes out automatically. Now check this out. That, that screen cap right there is an actual screen cap of my phone that I took yesterday. And check it out. Every time there's a showing confirmed, every time there's a deal closed on one of my properties, I get a text message showing me because as you guys know, I'm busy, I'm traveling, I'm doing webinars, I'm speaking, I'm all over the place. As my team is doing this stuff, it is triggering notices automatically to me so I can see what's happening. Now, I just want to pause here for a second. This here is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly powerful for you as an owner. Incredibly powerful. And the reason is because I know many of you, especially if you use property management, and especially if you are a multifamily owner, uh, right? And especially if you don't do the leasing yourself, you're, you're a little bit out of control. And I know, how, I know how that can feel. And it doesn't feel great. When it's your money that's on the line, when it's your investment, when it's your millions of dollars, man, you should not feel out of control. I'll tell you that right now. So this system truly allows you to regain that control, which is really, really cool and really, really awesome. So let's go through the trouble spots again. All of the hours and hours and hours of chasing people to book a call eliminated by the system. All the ability, inability for people to properly position the property from the start, right? Eliminated. Because as Jerry mentioned, the copywriting, the words that are used in a text message, you create those. It's created, but you know, like we, I created them for me. You can, you'll see how, if you want this, you can have this too. But the point is you don't rely on someone else to do that. You're in control of that because you know that property better than anybody else. Hours and hours and hours of chasing for applications, gone. System goes to get them for you. Hours and hours and hours of booking showings, gone. System does it for you. The admin notices, gone. There's no, and this is the ultimate. And now I'm back to philosophy for a second. Okay. I'm back to philosophy. There's no more follow-up failure. Okay. If you're taking notes, I hope you are. I hope I haven't put you to sleep by now. Have I put you to sleep by now or is this okay? Follow-up failure. Follow-up failure is going to cost you. Get ready. Okay. Millions of dollars over the course of your career. If you have a, if you, even if you have just a little business, follow-up failure is millions of dollars that is going to cost you a system like this. And whether you want the system or not, guys, I, I, I mean, I'm not attached to that. What I'm attached to is you getting this marketing, you building a marketing system, getting a marketing system, doing a marketing system to put that power back in your hands that I'm attached to. Whether you do it through Remy, whether you do it through Remy online, I, that doesn't really, I don't care about that. I'd love to help you, but I want this power back in your hands. Now, hold on. I saw some questions. Uh, Jerry and yes. So, so, so Jerry, uh, absolutely a hundred percent. And Jerry, you got to put uh, your, uh, you got to post to all panelists and attendees, not just panelists. Uh, can you combine this for more than one business? Yes, you can. This is powered by a system called Remy Online. Now, I'm, I'm not plan I wasn't planning on going through everything Remy Online can do. If that's something you're interested in, put your information in the chat and David Maxwell will get in touch with you. But what I will show you is I'll show you, some, I'll show you how to get just this leasing robot if you're interested in that. Now, Denise asked a question. I want to go back up. Uh, I don't anymore, Denise. I use, so Denise's question is, do you personally do the viewing JG or do you, uh, yeah, does the team do the showing? So I used to, I did for many, many years. I don't anymore. Portfolio is too big, too many people and too many properties. So I don't anymore. I don't do any, any showings, which is why I had to build a system like this because I had to gain the power back. Because when I did do the showings, I was very, very effective at it. But in this particular case, uh, I wanted to make sure that, that I can regain. So hopefully that answers your question, uh, Denise. Okay. Back to philosophy for a second. Okay, guys, back to philosophy. And I'll show you in a second, Cody, how you can get this. Uh, people are asking me, how do I get this leasing bot? I'll show you in a second. Now, if so back to philosophy now, so I'm going to come out of the technicals and I'm going to go into the philosophy is 
the last philosophy I want to teach you for today is to make data driven decisions. Most business owners and, and especially real estate business owners, that's you, that's me, that's a lot of people who own rentals. They don't know their numbers. They don't know their data. They don't know what their closing percentage is. They don't know how many inquiries it takes. They don't know how much advertising dollar it takes. They don't, they just don't know this stuff because they just don't track it. One of the beauties of this system is it tracks it all for you. So it shows you how many opportunities, how many people have gone through the system. It shows you how much pipeline you have and how many rentals you got. It shows you the conversion rate and it shows you this funnel and by stage. So you can see exactly where everybody is within. This generates very, 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 very valuable data that you're going to be able to use in your business. So the, that's a huge part of my philosophy is to make data driven decisions. You've heard me say it before. <laughs> I will say it until I die is make data driven decisions. It's one of my core beliefs in business. It's in my book, messy manager. It's also a core, it's a super core belief in, in marketing because without that, you're just guessing you're just shooting blind. You're just, you're, 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 you're hoping, you know, you're, you're going with the hope and a prayer strategy instead of the uh, strategic sophisticated strategy. Okay. Now, if you want to know how Remy 360 can help, so so the the part the the setup is like this, guys. So Remy 360 is a is a marketing company. We built our own platform platform called Remy 360 Online, and this system is powered by that flat platform. Now, a bunch of you actually on this call already have Remy 360 Online. You've already purchased it uh, before, and if you're interested in that, we can talk about that. That's I wasn't here to talk about that necessarily. Yeah, sure, Julia, right here. So, uh, but what I do want to do is when, when, so I built this for Vister, for Vister Property Group and, and our, uh, our company, when Patrick saw this, Patrick Francie, he, he lost his marbles and said, dude, you've got to make this available to the rain community. You can't just have this amazing system for yourself. You have to make it available exclusively to rain community, rain members. So that's what we've done. So here, if you're interested if, if you want to build something like this, is it possible? hundred percent. You can build, if you invested, uh, you know, four or five months and, and about 14 different platforms, you can build this all yourself. You could also have, um, and this, uh, this has nothing to do with click funnels. Uh, this has nothing to do with click funnels. This is, this is all built by a proprietary system. We built at Remy. So it, it's a done for you system. If you're interested in this kind of thing, I call it the leasing bot guys. And here's what it includes real quick. And I'll, I'll do some Q&A at the end. For, I'm happy to do Q&A, folks. Let me just get through this and then we'll, oh, I'm doing pretty good on time. We'll do, we'll do q and I'm actually, I don't have a ton of meetings today, which is great. So here's what the leasing bot includes. Number one, uh, the Remy 360 online system powers this leasing bot, okay? So, so it comes with, the, uh, with that platform. All the text messages, emails and system for the communication is included. Okay. So everything's included from that perspective. Everything that I showed you here today is included. We can, we'll write the text messages for you. We know what the text messages should say to be effective, right? This setup is completely done for you. You answer a few questions and we just set it up for you. We set up your very own, the CRM component for you to drag the cards. You know, I showed you the screenshots of dragging card from, from one column to the next column. And when you drag it, triggers stuff that's included as well. All the text messages and emails are written for you, as I mentioned, and the online application is either, if you don't do online applications right now, we can, do, we can build an online application in this system for you if you want. If you do have an online application, let's just say you use a Buildium or a Yardi or a whatever one you use, we can actually just, we can, as long as you can have a URL link, I can just include that URL link and connect them. So for example, at Vistier, we use Buildium to manage all our properties and I connect, uh, I connect our Buildium to this system so that the leasing bot feeds the applications right into, um, right into Buildium, okay? So if you're interested in the leasing bot, like I said, guys, this is something that I've been using at Vistier. Patrick got wind of it and he's like, you gotta make this available to RAIN members. This is, an, this is the solution.